Oh, Josh, uh, you get an opportunity this week uh, to coach almost uh, full strength. Must be uh, pretty special for you anyway. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, obviously Lurker got the opportunity last week and the boys put in a, a good performance. So, yeah, it's an exciting time, time of year for all of us to get back into playing footy. The, the, the boys are definitely, you know, relish the opportunity on the weekend and they will again this week coming back to, you know, our, our home life, or spiritual home here at Arden Street. So we're all excited. Is it a bit extra special given that there hasn't been a game played here for 32 years? I think so, yeah. So none of the, obviously, the players in, in their lifetimes, um, since they've been here at the club, have played here. They train here every day. Um, you know, obviously, we're based here, so they're certainly looking forward to the opportunity to, um, you know, to, to put on a show in front of their supporters. And you know, it is obviously a practice match in a JLT game, but um, yeah, a little bit more special we get to play at our, at our um, spiritual home. In terms of selection, Josh, can you tell us a few of the guys who are looking likely to be back in this week? Uh, there's a few that are, um, have been tracking well the last few weeks, so we'll, we'll have match committee this afternoon, and obviously they'll have to tick um, a few more boxes um, as the week progresses, but. A um, few of the experienced guys like you know, Tarrant, um, Goldstein, uh, Dorr, um, Hanson, Thompson, a few of those sort of guys have been tracking really well and ramped up their training load. So they're a chance and we'll just, as I said, we'll monitor it and um, they tick a few more boxes this week. Hopefully they'll be good to go. A few debutants last week. Any, any more this week, do you think? Uh, yeah, we'll wait and see. Yeah, like, as I said, we'll, we'll see what um, unfolds and, and who's, who's available. But, you know, Jai Simpkins come in the last couple of weeks and is joined in training and um, is, we'll be pretty close to going the next few weeks, so he's he's one, and um, we've got a few guys who missed out last week who've been training really well as well. So um, they all performed and did their role really well last week. So it's um, it's a good problem to have this early in the year. Sim, can you obviously your first round pick from, from last year? What's he shown on the track so far? Uh, he just looks like a, a quality player who understands the game really well. Um, looks like he works really hard both ways, which is a you know a great trait. So um, obviously there's no pressure on the young guys this time of year, and, and just be great for them to get opportunity against a quality side like Hawthorne. So, um, yeah, he looks like a, a real talent and someone who will hopefully be a player for us for a long time. But, um, you know, it's early days and it'd be great for him just to get an opportunity. How about ground tracking? Is he likely to play a, a JLT game at all? Or? Yeah, I think that's a plan. Yeah. Again, all these guys um, have had, you know, little niggles here and there. And I think he went in for a little clean out a few weeks ago and he's tracking really well. Um, Similar to Madge, he's just he's ramped up his training load the last week or two, and um, he's a chance, yeah, to, to play that probably that last game. So again, all things being well, he, he's, he's on target for that. And what about Mason Wood? He didn't quite make it out onto the training track today. Went for a scan earlier in the week. Um, we expect him yeah. to miss. Or? Oh, again, we, well, that match can be the Savo, so we get a good in-depth report from the medical team. So I don't think there was anything. There's a couple of guys first game. You know, the intensity goes through the roof compared to the the intra club. So. There's a few guys there to be a little bit, a little bit sore after that first hit out, and I think Mace is no different. So I don't think it's anything, anything serious. Was there any particular sort of uh, area that was sore for Mason? No, not that I'm aware. No, we'll find out this afternoon. Might have a bit more for you. <laughs> and what about last week? I mean, beyond the result, obviously pre-season game. What was the most pleasing sort of aspect to come out of it from your point of view? Uh, I've probably just seen the young guys gel. Um, so we've got a core experienced guys, you know, the Zeebles, Cunningtons, Atleys, Nick Millens, who've been there for a few years. Um, so to see the guys come in and, you know, look at our defence, we've had Marley Williams, you know, Declan Watson, Sam Durden, um, Matty Taylor, guys playing their first games for the club and they were just able to, you know, fit in pretty seamlessly with the rest of the group. So I think the positive aspect uh, from a coach's point of view was the, the ability um, and the synergy that we're able to adapt with those younger players. So. That's a positive, and uh, hopefully with a few more experienced guys, that um, you know, that only gets better. And what will you bring to the uh, coaching box? I mean, you've been coached by um, obviously Lethal. Um, would you like to coach like him, or more like Randall? <laughs> how, how do you think it'll? No, I think one thing I learned: you don't try and be someone you're not. And I'm certainly not going to try and be Lee Matthews. So that'll be my first mistake. Um, no, I think everyone brings their own style. You know, as I said Luke, a coach last week, um, and myself, I get lucky to get the opportunity this week, and. Um, and then Scotty will take back over. So I think everyone, you know, brings their brings their little um, little different flair or different um, different p um, perspective to the to the job. So um, might be a question to ask the players afterwards. There we go. The 2014 draft class hasn't had much luck with sort of injury. We get to see any of them play a, a home and away senior game. It must have been great to see Sam Durden and, and Ed Vickers Willis out there last week. Yeah, super. I missed Ed when I spoke about the defenders before, but. Um, you know, I think his ability to, as I said, come in and, and fit in. Him and Sam, you know, were, 
playing against you know, Tippett and, and some pretty some pretty handy Sydney forwards. So I think their ability um, to fit in amongst our team defence and you know Ed was super with his with his body work and his positioning. So um, he's been someone we've been he and Sam you know, obviously looking to get and give some opportunity to, but through um, through a bit of injury, they both think about shoulders and, and a few little niggles here and there. But you know, Touchwood, they're they're through that now and they're getting some continuity. And we saw the result of that on the weekend. And just in terms of, uh, I suppose, managing your players through the JLT, a likelihood that any of the senior guys will sort of be rested this this coming game and perhaps return for round three. Yeah, that's the discussion. Yeah, we'll have throughout the week and, and this afternoon, but. I think some of that gets taken a little bit more away now with there's only three games. There used to be four, um, so you could probably be a little bit more flexible and with how you work guys in and out and, and managing their loads. But, um, you know, we got eight on the bench as well. So guys um, who played last week, um, you know, still some of our senior players only played 50, 60%. Um, we've also got a week off after this game. Um, so, you know, that, that's a, a philosophical discussion we'll have as a coaching group and just to see what's what's best for us to get us right for round one of the West Coast. So that's the that's the ultimate goal. But with the three games and the break in between, you know, I wouldn't have thought there'll be there'll be too much of that. How much of the ruck load would you be expecting Todd Goldstein to shoulder? Obviously they've got rid of the third man up rule now, so probably adds to the strain on him a little bit. So you share that around a bit more this season? Yeah, I don't know if it adds to the strain. I think it I think it helps Goldie because he's he's been, you know, one of the dominant ruckmen in the comp the last few years, so um, it probably uh, saves that someone jumping in against him and trying to slow him down. And he's been at times they get a bit battered and bruised the, the ruckman when someone else is jumping into him um, all day. So I think it only helps him. And in terms of his load, he's always thrived on that big workload. And um, but again, that's a discussion we'll have. And depending on you know how our second ruckman's going, Madge, Brownie, um, you know Prusy was really impressive last week. So all those different things get thrown into the mix, and that'll you know dictate. You know, the, the load on Goldie and, and how that unfolds throughout the year. Some of the other clubs have spoken about how they've targeted particular games to field, I guess, as strong sides as possible. Is that something that you guys have done or is it more a case of who's available at the time? Yeah, it's probably a combination. I, I think we want to, with a younger group, um, it was good to go on the weekend and, and put in a performance. And while it's, we don't get any points for it, it was, it was good to get the win. And I think the boys enjoyed sitting there after the rooms after after having a, a crack and, and um, getting the win. So. I think with a younger group, it is important to you know, to keep building. Winning's a is a habit, so we want to we want to build that within the group. Continue to do that. So, um, yeah, I, I think we'll be, be um, looking to field pretty strong teams throughout. Is it important to you as a developing coach to, to win on the day? Is it important to you? Or? Not really. No, I'm, more, I'm irrelevant, really. Or, or we're just preparing for round one. So, um, I think you know, Luke could say the same last week. Like it's. Obviously, you're not going to say no. We obviously want to go out there and win. It's a, the competitiveness coming out in us. But at the end of the day, we want everyone to get through. We want to be able to apply some of the things we've been working on. Um, and if we get the win, great. But I think you know, everyone this time of year is just preparing and hopefully getting themselves 100% for, for round one.